Top 10 Survival Skills Imagine this, you're on a hiking trip, exploring the beauty of nature, enjoying the fresh air, and basking in the serenity of the wilderness. But suddenly, the weather changes and a storm rolls in, leaving you stranded and lost. What do you do? In situations like these, survival skills are crucial. Knowing how to build a shelter, find food and water, and navigate your way back to civilization could mean the difference between life and death. So in this video, we're going to cover 10 essential survival skills that everyone should know. From building a fire to dealing with dangerous animals, we'll give you the knowledge and tools you need to stay safe and survive in the wilderness. Get ready to learn some life-saving tips and tricks that could help you out of a tough situation. Skill 1. Finding or Building Shelter Finding or building a shelter is essential for survival in the wilderness, as it can protect you from harsh weather conditions, keep you warm, and provide a sense of security. If you can't find an existing shelter, you can build your own using natural resources such as branches, leaves, and other materials you can find in your surroundings. To build a shelter, find an area with a natural windbreak such as a cluster of trees or a rock formation. Build the shelter close to the windbreak and use large branches to create a framework for the shelter. Cover the framework with smaller branches and foliage and use leaves, pine needles, or grass to create a comfortable bed inside. If you can't build a shelter, look for natural shelters such as caves or overhangs. Make sure to inspect them thoroughly before using them to ensure they're safe. Imagine you're lost in the wilderness and you're running out of water. This brings us to our second skill, which is finding or purifying water. Skill 2. Finding or Purifying Water Water is essential for survival in the wilderness, but it's not always easy to find. If you can't find a natural source of water, look for signs such as animal tracks or vegetation that may indicate the presence of water. You can also look for low-lying areas or depressions in the ground, as they may contain water. Once you've found a source of water, it's essential to purify it before drinking it to avoid any waterborne illnesses. One way to purify it is by boiling water for at least five minutes. You can also use water purification tablets or a portable water filter to make sure the water is safe to drink. Imagine you're in a wilderness and you need to make a fire. This brings us to our third skill, which is starting a fire. Skill 3. Starting a Fire Starting a fire is crucial for survival in the wilderness, as it can keep you warm, dry your clothes, and cook your food. To start a fire, you need three things – fuel, oxygen, and a spark. Collect dry wood, leaves, and other materials to use as fuel for your fire. Create a fire pit by clearing a spot in the ground and building a ring of rocks around it to contain the fire. Use a fire starter such as matches, a lighter, or a magnesium fire starter to create a spark. Once you have a flame, carefully add small sticks and twigs to the fire to keep it going. Always make sure to keep the fire contained and under control to avoid any accidents or wildfires. Imagine you're stuck in a life and death situation. Emergencies can strike at any time, and being prepared can mean the difference between life and death. This brings us to our fourth skill, which is emergency preparedness. Skill 4. Emergency Preparedness Emergency preparedness refers to the steps you take before an emergency situation to increase your chances of survival and safety. This includes planning, preparing, and practicing for emergencies such as natural disasters, medical emergencies, or being stranded in the wilderness. Some basic emergency preparedness steps include having a survival kit ready with essential items such as food, water, first aid supplies, and a map and compass. It also involves having a communication plan with your family or group and knowing whom to contact in case of an emergency. Imagine you're lost in the wilderness with no food and you need to find something to eat. This brings us to our fifth skill, which is finding food in the wilderness. Skill 5. Finding food in the wilderness. Finding food in the wilderness can be challenging, but it's essential for survival. One way to find food is by foraging for edible plants, berries, and nuts. However, make sure to learn about the plants in the area and identify them correctly before eating them. You can also hunt or fish for food, but make sure to follow the local laws and regulations. Trapping small games such as squirrels or rabbits can also be an effective way to find food. Imagine you're in the wilderness and you come across a body of water that you need to cross. This brings us to our sixth skill, which is crossing a body of water. Skill 6. Crossing a body of water. 
Crossing a body of water can be dangerous, but it's sometimes necessary to reach your destination. Before crossing, make sure to assess the depth, current, and any obstacles in the water. If the water is too deep or the current is too strong, look for an alternate route or wait until the water level lowers. If you need to cross the water, remove any heavy clothing or gear that may weigh you down and cross in a diagonal direction to avoid being swept away by the current. Use a stick or other object to test the depth and stability of the ground before taking each step. If you have to cross a large body of water, such as a river, consider building a makeshift raft using logs or other buoyant materials. Imagine you're in the wilderness and you've come across a dangerous animal. This brings us to our seventh skill, which is dealing with dangerous animals. Skill 7. Dealing with Dangerous Animals Encountering dangerous animals in the wilderness can be terrifying, but it's important to remain calm and know how to react. If you come across a bear, make yourself appear larger by raising your arms and standing on your toes. Back away slowly while avoiding direct eye contact. If you encounter a snake, give it a wide berth and do not provoke it. If you're bitten by a snake, stay calm and try to remember the shape, size, and color of the snake to help medical professionals identify the type of snake and provide the proper treatment. If you encounter a cougar or a wolf, make yourself appear larger and make loud noises to scare them away. If you're attacked, fight back with whatever weapons you have available, such as rocks or sticks. Imagine you're lost in the wilderness and you need to navigate your way back to civilization. This brings us to our eighth skill, which is navigation. Skill eight, navigation. Navigating the wilderness can be challenging, especially if you don't have any tools or a map. However, there are ways to navigate using natural surroundings. One way is by using the sun and the stars to determine direction. In the Northern Hemisphere, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, while the North Star is always in the same position in the sky. You can also use landmarks such as mountains or rivers to help you navigate. If you have a map and a compass, learn how to use them before going into the wilderness. Always carry a map and a compass with you, and make sure to keep them dry and in a waterproof container. Imagine you're in the wilderness and you need to signal for help. This brings us to our ninth skill, which is signaling for help. Skill 9. Signaling for Help Signaling for help is essential if you're lost or injured in the wilderness. The universal signal for distress is three loud, distinct noises, such as clapping, shouting, or using a whistle. You can also use visual signals, such as waving a brightly colored piece of clothing or a mirror to reflect the sun's rays. If you have a fire, create a signal fire using green branches or other materials that produce smoke. If you have a personal locator, beacon, or a satellite phone, use it to call for help. Make sure to familiarize yourself with the device before going into the wilderness and keep it in a waterproof container. Imagine you're lost in the wilderness and you need to take care of any injuries or illnesses. This brings us to our final skill, which is basic first aid. Skill 10, basic first aid. Basic first aid is essential in case of any injuries or illnesses in the wilderness. Always carry a first aid kit with you and make sure to know how to use it before going into the wilderness. The first step in any medical emergency is to assess the situation and call for help if necessary. If you're alone and injured, take care of any life-threatening injuries first, such as severe bleeding or difficulty breathing. If you're dealing with a minor injury, such as a cut or a burn, clean the wound with soap and water and apply a bandage or other appropriate treatment. If you or someone in your group is experiencing a medical emergency, such as a heart attack or a severe allergic reaction, know how to administer basic life support, such as CPR or using an epinephrine auto-injector. And there you have it, 10 essential survival skills that everyone should know. Whether you're a seasoned outdoor enthusiast or a beginner, these skills can mean the difference between life and death in an emergency situation. Remember, always be prepared for the unexpected and practice these skills before you need them. With a little knowledge and preparation, you can stay safe and survive in the wilderness.